Talk. I'm Mike Scott, joined right now by another local realtor. We have lots of realtors on our show, and we love having them. Janice Johnson with Greatland Realty out near Fashion Fair on 6th Street, you told me? Yes. Yes, how are you today? I'm great. Are you really? Thank you for letting me be here. <laughs> Thank you for coming down. You're, anybody's welcome to come on the show. <laughs> even, <laughs> even me. <okay>. Even Janice. <laughs> yeah. right. So how, how's biz? It's good. It's yeah? good right now. We have... We don't have enough listings. You know what? It, another realtor on earlier this week said this exact same thing. They need more listings. We'd like to have more listings so our buyers would have more choices. You think people are just sitting on the sidelines waiting for prices to go up before they put their houses on the market? Well, I think it's some of that. And I think some of it is trying to make up their minds whether they could really sell it for a good price. And they need someone to come by and, and Tell them what, what the price they might get for their home. And well, no, be wait a minute. Surprised. Any, anytime there's a shortage of listings, mm -hmm. that's good for the seller, right? Because there isn't a whole lot of stuff on the market. It's very good for the seller. Yeah. Very good. However, sometimes sellers get so enthused they want a price way ahead of the market. And, they get and, greedy. And so we need to counsel them a little bit. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's greedy. Whatever oh, sure I, whatever <laughs> I'm selling something, I want top dollar too. Yeah. But uh, top, the difference between top dollar and what anybody's willing to pay might be a little different. Sure. You overprice it, it's going to sit on the market for six months without yeah. a without or any uh, hits. Maybe even a year. <laughs> yeah, or longer, yeah. yeah. But if you price it right, if you it'll price fly it, out of there, right? It's selling very quickly now. Yeah. Are you getting multiple offers on lots reasonably of, priced homes? Lots of multiple offers. Yeah. And so sometimes it's very frustrating for buyers, especially first-time home buyers that fall in love with this home and think and get their best offer up and... Then somebody outbids them. Somebody outbids them, and they yeah. get all disappointed. But yeah. that's part of my job is helping people understand that okay, that wasn't the right house. Let's go find another one. Yeah. Do you tell them that? Or are you allowed to raise their bid? Not my. Not you, I can't. You no. can't. But I can talk to them and tell them that if they can raise their bid, because what we get on multiple offers is another um, negotiate. It's a tool that the seller has, and they, they put out information that they have multiple offers and they'd like to get highest and best offer. And that just simply means that whatever you can afford, whatever you feel the house is properly priced at for you, that's the time to raise your offer if you can. Sure, sure. Uh -huh. Do you like people to be pre-approved before they get to you? I do, yes. But it's not because I'm trying to discern whether I want to work with them or not. It's so that I don't show them a house. We'll say they're they're pre-approved for one hundred and fifty thousand. And now I'm going to show them a million dollar house. And, well, <laughs> I wouldn't do that, but I might show them a two hundred thousand dollar house, and they fall in love with it. And now what we do? They can't afford it. I'm putting them into a home that they're going to be very disappointed because all of their money, even if they did manage to qualify for it, all of their money is going to go for making payments. And they can't go out for pizza on Friday night. Well, then why would you show them a $200,000 house if, they are, if they've only... A if they, that's, the re, that's what I'm saying. Oh, if okay. If they come in and, they're, and they don't tell me the price that they want to look at I at gotcha. least, I, gotcha. I can't be as helpful. Yeah, you gotta have some pizza money left over, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, after all, want to take, want to go out for movies and a, and a, and dinner. It, it's kind of fun. Okay, you brought a video today of one of the properties mm -hmm. you have. This is 954 West Pepper in Hanford. Yes, it is. Okay, let's take a look.
house. I'll put my bid in right now, okay? All right. <laughs> what what can you tell folks about that particular it's, property? Uh, it's in Stonecrest. Stonecrest. Which is Pioneer School District, and that's that's important to a lot of people. That's a desirable area in it, Hanford? It's a very desirable area and really handy to everything. Okay. And the other thing that's really nice about it is it's four bedroom, three bath, three car garage, but it also has three living areas. The owners developed the loft so that there's a full loft area for play, home office, whatever a person want to use. And they also have a really nice sized yard that includes a pool and a spa. And and so everything's right there. They up, updated the kitchen to really, really nice and, and, and they've kept taking really good care of it. There's some of their clients of mine that are military and that have been transferred, and that's the reason why they need to sell their home. Okay. And what's the asking price on it? The asking price is three hundred thirty-nine nine. Three thirty-nine. Twenty-six hundred square feet plus. That's a good-sized house. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Janice. How can folks reach you at Greatland Realty? Five five nine three eight zero seven four six one. That's my cell phone. Text, okay. call. And I'm imagining you're online also. Oh, absolutely. J L J Realtor at Gmail dot com, and I answer either to the internet as far as email and I of course do texting. I, all the, I you have to do that these days, right? Lots of my clients right? do texting. Yeah. Well Janice, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you very much Appreciate for having it. me again. It's all nice right. to meet you. Janice Johnson from Greatland Realty right here on Central Valley Talk.